Hello and welcome to On the Shelves at ACPL. Today we are continuing our look at the new books that have come in in the last couple of months now that we are in the beginning of July. This video is going to focus on our literary fiction and our historical fiction that we have gotten in in the last couple of months. So let's get started. Our first book is The Eighth Girl by Maxine Mei-Fung Chung. Alexa is a young lady who has a secret. She has multiple personalities and the only people who know are her best friend and her mother. And she feels that that's safest that very few people know. But then her best friend gets a job working in a high-end nightclub, gets pulled into the orbit of the club owner and Alexa finds that she is now holding her best friend's secret. Then her best friend disappears and she goes, at, goes after her to try to save her and has to find out whether her multiple, multiple personalities are her saving grace or her downfall. Our next book is The Second Home by Christina Clancy. There are three siblings, Anna, or Anne, Poppy, and Michael. Michael is adopted. Anne is the oldest, and she wishes, at the summer after her 17th year, she wishes she had never gone to their second home at the beach. Years later, Anne and Poppy are trying to figure out what they're going to do with the beach house after their parents have passed away, and Michael shows up. He has been estranged from the family since that summer. He wants the house, but he also wants to explain his side of what happened that summer. It definitely has a lot of family drama and intrigue and scandal. So if that sounds like a good summer book to you, pick up The Second Home. Our next book is The Book of the Little Axe by Lauren Frances Sharma. This book follows the story of Rosa, who was born in Spanish Trinidad. She is Afro-Caribbean and grew up in Trinidad believing that she ought to have uh, the birthright of inheriting her family's farm, that she is the only one who can do it right, and just because she's a woman shouldn't stop her from inheriting. But when the British take over uh, Spanish Trinidad, they are not inclined to allow black landowners to keep their land, much less a woman. The story then jumps forward to when she is living in the American West. She is married to a Native American and has a son who is struggling with some of those same issues of why does my race stop me from becoming what I want to be? And so she has to take him back to where she began, uh, discuss some of the secrets on her past, and try to help her son find a path uh, in a world that doesn't really want to accept a man who is of mixed race, much less one who is part Afro-Caribbean and part Native American. Our next book is The Paris Hours by Alex George. This is based in Paris in 1927 and it follows four ordinary people who are all having a crisis on this one night. The stories do eventually intertwine and connect in ways that we would not expect and uh, really shows uh, off the period of the 1920s in Paris with, uh, with all of the salons and music and all of the uh, cultural awakenings that were happening in that period. Our next book is Glorious Boy by Amy Liu. 
this story is based in 1942 in the Andaman Islands. The Japanese are threatening to invade. They have already invaded Burma and are headed toward India. There is, on the, these islands, there is a couple who have a son who is four years old and he is mute. The couple decide that it is time for them to flee and they book passage on a boat. They can take their son, but they cannot take the local girl who is able to communicate with him, which they think is very unfortunate, but they, they, you know, they have no recourse. They can't take her. On the day of the voyage, the two children, their son and this young lady disappear. The husband puts his wife on the boat and stays on the island to try to find the children. When the mom makes her way uh, to the end of her voyage, she finds out that the Japanese have in fact invaded the islands and there is no way to communicate or to reach the rest of her family. This is a, illustrates and illuminates a part of the of World War II that most people really don't know about, but it also is a very uh, family story about what people are willing to do to try to save their children. The next book is The Choice by G Gillian McAllister. This is a fascinating premise. Joanna is walking home from a night out and she hears what every woman uh, worries, fears, and that is footsteps coming up behind her and coming faster. And so she is convinced that it is the man who wouldn't leave her alone in the bar that night. And she turns around and she shoves him and he falls down at the bottom of the steps and is not moving. So once we get to that part of the story, the story branches off and shows what would happen if she told and she called the police and what would happen if she didn't tell and she just went on about her life knowing that she's probably the only one who will ever know uh, what happened to this gentleman. So this would be a really interesting uh, read and especially for women as we're often faced with that choice of what do we do if we hear footsteps behind us in the middle of the night? Uh, what do we do if we're forced or feel like we're forced to act? Our next book is The House of Deep Water by Jenny McFarland. River Bend, Michigan is the kind of small town that most people don't want to leave, but the three women in this book all really want to leave. There is a mother and who is always sure of what she wants, a daughter who is never sure of what she wants, and one of the few African-American women who lived in this town. All three of them escape, get out, but are all drawn back and find themselves uh, living and connected to uh, the mother and daughter's home uh, with their father, which obviously they have left years and years ago. Uh, this book is about family, both the family that you have and the family that you make, the familiarity of a small town, both the good and the bad of that, and how old secrets and scandals can come up and are really never forgotten in small towns. Our next book is Night, Sleep, Death, the Stars by Joyce Carol Oates. This book deals with the death of a prominent man and how his children react to that and how his grieving widow reacts. And hers is perhaps the most interesting uh, response of all. Uh, Oates is known for writing 
uh, books that both feel intimate, talking about family as well as global, dealing with psychological uh, issues and class warfare and some of the big topics that families deal with and our society deal with. Uh, in addition, she just writes beautiful prose. So if you are an Joyce Carol Oates fan, or if that sounds fascinating to you, pick up this book. The next book is A Long Time Coming by Robin W. Pearson. Beatrice has grown up uh, with her mouth shut, as she puts it, that if she doesn't want to share a secret, it is not going to be shared. And her, as she is getting older, she is planning on taking the secret of why her husband and her children's dad left to the grave. But one of her grandchildren comes back and is determined to get her to reconcile with her children and grandchildren and their extended family. And so she works on her grandmother, but she also finds a box of letters that illuminate some of what happened. And the two of them work through some of the differences and maybe by the end will convince Mama B to reach out to her family and make amends. Our next book is The Yellow Bird Sings by Jennifer Rosner. This book is set in the 1940s during World War II. A mother and daughter are hiding because they are Jewish. Uh, the daughter is only five years old and really has trouble keeping still and keeping quiet. And so the mother invents this imaginative world and tells her that because she has to be quiet, the yellow bird will sing her song and she can come up with elaborate things, music in her brain, and the bird will sing it. This does keep her daughter quiet, but after several months, uh, the mother has to make a decision. Do I keep my daughter with me or do I let her go and let her possibly have a life of some sort uh, away, away from me and not, uh, not having been captured by the Nazis? If this is a time period that interests you or you just really love uh, stories that are lyrical and beautiful and about families. The Yellow Bird Sings would be a great choice. Our next book is A Thousand Moons by Sebastian Barry. This book is set in post-Civil War Tennessee. Winona is a Lakota Indian. She is being raised by adoptive parents in western Tennessee. The area is still very fragile after the Civil War and all of the strife that is involved with that, but then there is another family tragedy that further fragments her life. Uh, so if you are interested in that time period, if you just love a great story about family and about uh, overcoming adversity, uh, A Thousand Moons would be a great choice. Our final historical fiction, literary fiction book is Man of My Time by Dahlia Sofer. The main character, Hamid, is Iranian. He works for the Iranian regime and is sort of ambivalent about doing so, but has done so for so long uh, that he just kind of accepts what he has been told. He travels to New York City and reunites with his family who is living in exile and picks up his father's ashes, who has been cremated, which does not evidently uh, is not evidently kosher in their religion, but he wants his ashes spread in Iran. So Amid comes to pick them up and 
reunites with his family and explores what has gone wrong in his life, his strange, his strange family, both uh, siblings and and their families, as well as his own uh, child, who he is not uh, is not speaking with. This story is about both personal loss as well as a loss of self when one is uh, a citizen of an authoritative regime. Uh, it sounds like it would be a fascinating study of Iran and Iranian politics, as well as the expatriate community that exists in the United States. So those are our books for today. If you are interested in getting any of them, uh, you may log in to our website, alamancelibraries.org. You can click on catalog, enter your library card number and pin, and put any of these books on hold, or you can call any of our branches and we will be happy to help you with that. I hope you enjoyed today's books and we'll see you next time.